the year is 1963. The place? At RAF Technical Training Establishment at Cosford near Wolverhampton, England, a UFO was witnessed by two RAF apprentices to either land or crash behind a hangar. On December 10, 1963, at about 23.30 hours, two unnamed RAF apprentices witnessed a bright flying dome-shaped object. The object flew behind a hangar and either landed or crashed. The craft emitted a green light and swept the area. The witnesses observed the craft for two minutes and then ran to tell the duty officer. The two unnamed RAF apprentices were interrogated by the commanding officer about the incident. The most interesting part of this event is all the different stories that the RAF has given. The two young students, not altogether sober, have been up to a pre-Christmas prank in that there was an inquiry to the incident and some sketches were made. It then changed to sober apprentices, who had perpetrated a hoax and that the boys had constructed their own saucer. On January 9, 1964, investigator Wilfred Daniels interviewed Flight Lieutenant Henry, the chaplain at RAF Cosford, who confirmed that the boys indeed witnessed a UFO landing which had terrified them. He stated that, They ran until they were in a building and could tell someone about it. They were told to sober up, but they were not drunk and are quite sane and sensible. The chaplain explained, adding that he believed there would be a security clamp down on the incident. In 1963, at a public meeting, the former Minister of Defense, Harold Watkinson, made a curious statement. Before I left the ministry I had to sign a large number of papers promising never to reveal certain facts I had learned as Minister of Defense. The subject of flying sources may be included. There seems to be no doubt that something strange happened that night. The RAF story changed several times, making me raise an eyebrow.